Welcome to part two of our four day raid to Myall Lakes in New South Wales, Australia. This time we do a boat tour, we do some close quarters navigation, and generally dabble about in light airs. Enjoy. Well, we're sitting around waiting for the wind to return. Quite different from our last couple of days. It's just a mill pond out there, which was great for sleeping last night. Much needed. So I thought I'd give you a quick look around the Navigator and uh, her recently renovated circumstances. Okay, so forward, we've added a cargo net and some non-slip matting. Uh, we keep most of our stuff up in there and we can now tie it down so it doesn't move about, which is really helpful. You'll note uh, my halyards run out of the bottom of the mast here and up inside and through this turn, this rather ugly turning block arrangement, but it's very, very handy. I've added a uh, mast float to the top because of that hollow mast. I'm concerned that if I tip it, she will turtle. So we move back, you'll see that I kick that bucket. I leave this side clear for running forward to the anchor. That's my anchor box. Um, I deploy it just out the side and tie off up the front. But I keep this side as clear as possible. Um, under sail, this side's balanced with the anchor and the motor. And the other side is uh, my heavier gear. Um, you can see my boom tent. Sleeping board, refrigeration arrangement, rubbish bag. And there's the crutch for the uh, boom tent arrangement. Uh, what else can we show you? Other stuff you will be familiar with. Added some non-slip mats. That's been very helpful uh, getting in and out. We've added uh, some new cushions to the arrangement. They, uh, they fix in and clip on, which is really nice. Over here I keep... Uh, aluminium poles and uh, and a camping tarp under there just uh, we've had occasion on raids to need to sit together in the rain so that can be a unofficial beach camp uh, the paddles in there as well uh, I leave these mats in under the seats so when uh, there's always something protecting the new benches and we move around this way We've got the EPIRB clipped in under there. There's lunch. Get lunch ready before you leave. It's a little hot tip from me. Some camera gear, boarding ladder and map. Uh, there's the Fowleys, which I've been wearing the last couple of days. I won't need them today. Fire extinguisher, I've relocated back here. I think it's better to have it much easier to get at. I had it up forward before. What else have we got? Uh, around this side, again, these that, that's the where you chuck your junk. You need somewhere to chuck junk. So sun cream, sunglasses, sailing gloves, etc. Uh, fenders fit in under there. They've got some line on them. Just deploy it a moment's notice. And then uh, bailing bucket. And this is where I control all my lines from. And that's actually neat at the moment. It's usually much worse than that. We look in underneath. That's the galley box under that side. And all sorts of bits and pieces. There's a light, coffee, my AeroPress, etc, etc. And that, my friends, is the whole boat.
sun breeze finally arrived. It's very light. I don't know why I'm whispering. I just think it's very quiet. Um, and we all got going about 11 o'clock kind of thing. Very slow drift across back towards Johnson's Beach uh, amid little little puffs. So we're just drifting. Okay, this is the story so far. I launched here, Violet Hill. We headed straight through the Narrows on day one and across here to Shelley. But we also, you know, played around out here going around these islands where we were becalmed. And then uh, some pe people motored back into Shelley and some waited out here and then Dave came through. That's when we got 15 plus knots and we played around in the, in the swell before heading in for a very blustery night. Then yesterday we sailed uh, in the wind direction uh, that way. So it was a long run all the way up and we were heading for Narani, but we went via Corrigan's Island and did a bit of a loop across here. Went to Narani for lunch, uh, which is a campground, but it, there, was a, there were a few people there, no fire pits, we, so we, and the wind was still up, so we decided to head back. Now the wind was, had moved south, and so we had one long reach all the way around and back to Shelley. And that was an excellent call on behalf of Rick because uh, it was nice and quiet and calm here as the uh, beautiful images have shown. And today, in little to no wind, we're crossing back and have to get up the narrows with the wind in this direction. So very light wind. So we're, we're about to do all the tacking through here. We're just crossing this point now. And we will probably come back round and Johnson's tonight ready for a departure tomorrow out of Violet Hill and away so just a leisurely jaunt around Upper, Upper Mile Lake make the marker. Will he make it? Oh! <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Didn't touch, it. Didn't touch it. You're not disqualified then. I would have cut that, mate. <laughs> When you get older, you forget the times when you were a child and nothing in the world really mattered. You know, like... Well, another beautiful night uh, and a great campfire session last night. All went to bed fairly early. I think we're getting tired from our long days of sailing. It's the final day uh, here at Johnson's Beach and the wind's expected to kick in about nine till about midday. And then I think we'll all start heading home. So hopefully that wind comes in at about 10 knots and gives us a, a good morning sail.
peculiar problem we have. Uh, with really light airs, trim will bear to leeward and you sort of end up spinning around on the, on the spot. And I thought it was a fault with the boat or the rigging or something. But uh, Quiberon there behind me, a 22 foot uh, Drascom longboat with the mizzen is doing the same thing. It's like we're doing a little ballet out here on the still water, just pirouetting around and around. I don't know if you can hear that kookaburra. He's laughing at me. Um, well, time has run out and uh, it's time to head for the ramp, which is just over there in the background. The wind didn't eventuate today, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go and pack up and head home. Thanks for joining us again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.